some flyback experiments today. Here's the circuit that I built up a few days ago and it's uh, been neatened up somewhat. See Mr. Flathunter's channel for details on the circuit, it's quite simple. And uh, today I'm going to be running on this wall adapter at 3 volts. I've got the earth ground here and a distance between to a pin. Uh, the output from the flyback only goes to one wire which goes into that neon tube there and this piece of metal here is not connected to anything so that kind of forms the uh, what's going to be happening so I put it to 3 volts and you can see how the sparks are going between there the bulbs on quite, a, quite an interesting noise when it's connected up like this uh, wireless is what I wanted to show too, there's a neon if I bring it near to well to this piece of metal you can see that we're lighting the neon wirelessly. Also, I've got a small tube over here, and if I touch the neon to that, it will also partially glow all that distance away from the flyback. Um, as to this tube itself, it will partially light by just touching it to the metal block. Not a great deal, but it does do and if we're looking at wireless range itself I get my little tester and you can see there's, there's wireless all over this all over the place and it mainly sparks out when the, uh, when the sparks come from there it's mainly when that will flash like that it's an interference kind of aspect but there we are, that's, uh, that's those experiments for the day okay Thanks for watching. Just to add, I've put the neon onto the earth ground with that small gap there. So it isn't actually connected to the circuit. But if I put it on 1.5 volts, or the, at least the 1.5 volt setting on this adapter, you can see the tube partially glow, but also the neon there has partially come on. Now if I go to the 3 volts, all hell breaks loose. Neon's now really bright, we've got the flashes across.